say hello. Hello. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. I want a car. I'm going to buy a Jeep. Oh, for how much? Three dollars. Three dollars? I want one of those. Please subscribe. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought today we would just do a fun, quick get ready with me. It has been over a week since I've had the opportunity to sit down and really do my makeup. I had LASIK eye surgery a little over a week ago. The rule is you cannot wear eye makeup for over a week. So it's been that time and I'm so excited. I am so excited to be able to do my makeup. So I'm going to go in with this Milk Hydro uh, Grip Primer. If you really want an in-depth review on this, I did do a review on this on my channel and I'll have it linked down below. But it's very soothing. If you have sensitive skin, I feel like this is a great option because it has, with that aloe soothing properties, it really just provides this layer of grippiness. My sister-in-law even tried it out and she is obsessed and so I decided that I needed to use it more. And with this primer, I always let it sit for a little over a minute just to kind of settle down so it doesn't move around too much when I'm applying a foundation. Foundation, I'm going to go in with this Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I have about five different foundations that I am completely almost finished with, which, you know, it's a really good feeling to finish a foundation. I am going to apply this with a beauty blender. My shade is Natural Beige. I just like to put that on my hand and then go in with the beauty blender. Walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I, can... I will say I feel like this foundation oxidizes just a little bit. I feel like with any foundation, and especially this one, it's better to go in with thin layers if you want to build it. I usually just do one layer, and then if there's any spots that I feel need a little bit extra coverage, I'll go back in with more. This is my own suit and I'm getting stronger. Going in with a concealer, this is the Tarte Hydro Sealer. It's newer. I did a review on this, which I'll have linked down below. My shade is in the shade, I believe it's light, medium, neutral. This is a medium coverage concealer, and I've never blended this out with a sponge before. How is your vision? Have you had laser eye surgery before? Do you wear contacts? Do you wear glasses? Or are you one of the lucky people who has perfect vision? I progressively had been getting worse vision throughout junior high and high school. So to the point where I had to either wear glasses and especially when I started driving, I had to wear glasses. It didn't, I've never liked wearing my glasses all that much just because, you know, it's just one of those extra things I had to worry about. I knew I wanted to have kids and I'd always heard you can't have LASIK eye surgery until you're done having kids. So this is it blended out, my complexion. I really do like this concealer. I've, I've really thought about going in, exchanging it out for the bigger size. We will see if I will do that, I don't know yet, because I do have so much other concealers that I need to get through. Let's go ahead and set my concealer really quick. I'm using the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I use this a lot on my channel. It's just one of those really lightweight setting powders that's great if you have dry skin. So I just take a little pointed brush like this and I pat kind of in my T-zone and then right underneath my eyes. And then the rest of my face because this foundation, I feel like, is still a little tacky, I will go in with one of my light pressed powders. LASIK eye surgery is something I've been wanting for a really long time. I had my two boys, and shockingly, my vision didn't change, like, at all, when I had both of my kids. Went to my optometrist, he said, no, don't get LASIK, don't even think about it until you're done having kids. I talked to so many different friends that have had LASIK after having kids, and then they've had more kids, and they haven't had any problems with their vision. So I decided to just go straight and get a LASIK consultation myself, just to see if I qualified and what all that entailed. They said I was a great candidate, of course, they said I was a great candidate, they want more surgery. I went in for a consult the day of my surgery. My corneas were great for the surgery, which I was so thankful for because this is like my last kind of shot at, I have extremely dry eyes, extremely sensitive eyes. So even doing my makeup like this, I used to have to just plan around, okay, I can't wear my contacts. So I do my makeup and then right before I do my mascara, I put eye drops in just to kind of settle everything down. And then if I did want to wear my contact, I would only have three hour period that I could wear them. Literally affect every area of my 
my life to where if I wanted to go to the playground with my kids and I wanted to wear sunglasses and I had to put in my contacts but if it was even a little windy outside I knew that I wouldn't be able to wear my contacts. Anyway I'm just talking about it too much. So I'm using this new palette I got. This is the Hourglass Ghost palette. They were having their friends and family sale and this palette used to be on the Sephora site and it sold out over the holidays. In this palette you have two ambient lighting powders which I would just mix these two because this one looks super light. One of these is a highlight, two blushes, and a bronzer. So I'm gonna go in with these two. The only hard thing is, is it's so little. The pans are tiny in this. And just lightly setting with this all over powder brush. Hourglass is absolutely one of my favorite brands. I love all their complexion products. They just look so natural if you're wanting that just editorial natural effect. Let's go in with eyes. Let's try something a little different than I normally do. I'm going to go in with the Tati Beauty palette. I love this palette, but I don't use it as much as I should. It has a beautiful mirror, so many different, like your neutral shades that you would use the most often. And I'm just gonna go in with this smaller little fluffy brush. I'm just gonna go in with the transition color in the shade Soothe right here. This is a matte finish. I have a go-to eye look. I feel like my technique is exactly the same every single time and I always go in with a nice brown neutral and then I deepen it up with another neutral. And then if I wanna get crazy, I go in with more of a deeper glitter or something. I'm gonna go in with Ritual in the shade or in the finished sequin, more dimension to it. And I'm just gonna go in the corner. Sound. I'm going to go in with the same color ritual, but I'm going in with the metallic shade, blending that over my lid. It's so pretty. I am feeling like I need to go in with my brow pencil, so I'm gonna go in with my tried and true Maybelline Total Temptation brow pencil and just follow the natural line of my brows. I guess long story short, I don't wanna talk about, you know, LASIK the entire time. I'd hyped it up in my mind and postponed it for so long. The fear of what if I just can't see afterward? What if my surgery ends up being a mistake? The fear of being in pain. And honestly, the worst part of the entire thing, they had overbooked themselves. I think they did 38 surgeries that day. I definitely don't regret my decision and I feel like my eyes turned out really well. You, you wouldn't believe it. I went home, slept, and the next morning I could see. 15, 20, 20, 15, whatever it is, it's been great ever since. Brows are done. I'm just going to glue these brows in place. This 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. I feel like I'm out of practice with my brows. That took a lot longer than I had anticipated. Have you guys been watching anything on Netflix? I usually don't watch a lot of TV. I do watch YouTube, but I really wanna try this out a little bit more and I'm going to use the bronzer in here. Hopefully it'll be dark enough for me. That was one thing I was a little concerned with. Since it's a smaller pan, I'm going to go in with this Morphe M530. It's a goat hair brush, which is what I usually like to apply bronzers with. bronzer is cool toned. I was a little, I was a little iffy about it because when I opened it up, I was like, it just looks so powdery and light. I'm comparing it to, this is the same brand, same bronzer, just a full size bronzer in the shade of Radiant Bronze Light. And then this one, smaller pan, and it's the bronzer Eternal Bronze Light. That will warm you up too much, which is going to help me with my nose contour, which I am still struggling with. So if you have any suggestions for me on how to contour my nose better, very much appreciated. Let's go in with same palette and let's do a blush. And these are both blushes at the bottom, right? One's a strobe blush with an iridescent rose, which I'm assume, assuming is this one because it has the ambient light infused in it. And then this is a sublime blush. This is a cheek brush by Mario, Makeup by Mario times Sephora. And I'm just taking that right on that middle blush. Let's concentrate it toward the back here. That is beautiful. Mm-hmm. I love it. Wow. I'm 
I'm doing my makeup, I just feel like I'm flinging my hair all over the place and after I'm done getting ready, it's a disaster. So I'm going to go in with the highlight this came with, which is right here. I'm going to cause, ooh, whoa, okay. That's really pretty. So this is considered to be their highlight. It's a strobe light. I like it because it's not too strong. It does seem, might pull a little metallic. We are almost done. Just to finish up the eyes, I'm going to go in with Ritual Brown in just the sh in sequin. To set everything, I'm going in with this Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. I really want to drench myself because I do feel like this foundation pulls more matte, especially on my forehead. It just looks so much drier. While well, that is drying, I'm going in with mascara. It's been so long and I'm so excited to just continuously use my L'Oreal Double Extend. All right, eye makeup is on. It turned out a little darker than I had anticipated, but I'm going in with the lip liner. This is the Makeup Revolution Satin Kiss Lip Liner in the shade Shocker. Now I'm going in with the I Love Sada E times Color Pop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Curvy. All right, this is the finished look. I do feel like I am a little rusty when it comes to makeup, but hey, I'm excited. I'm excited to wear eye makeup again. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.